Next up at UFC 284, we got Josh Colabau taking on Melsic Bogdasarian, which could be fight of the night here. I really like this fight. Um, I'm a big Melsic truther. I thought for sure I'd be betting on him. I've had some questions about doing so since. I mean, Melsic's got the volume. He's got the accuracy. I like his striking defense. I like his power. Unfortunately, his strength of schedule is about as poor as possible compared to Kalabau, who has definitely fought the better competition and recently made a decent account of himself. Now, he's not putting up statistical anomalies or anything. Like, he's landing 3.06 strikes a minute, and he's eating 3.06 strikes a minute. Like, identical, right? Minus, uh, what is he, minus 9%? No, no, he's not. He's plus 5%, sorry, in striking versus expected. So he's slightly above average striker. He's pretty good. He's pretty durable. Um, but on the other side of things, like I said, the power of Melsic. Like, melsic has got power in his hands. Um, much better striking versus expected. He's plus 15%. And he's landing about two and a half strikes a minute more than his opponents while being very dangerous in doing so. It's not like point fighting. He's trying to take your head off and still landing two and a half more. But the problem is that came against a shitty strength of schedule. So this one, I'm going back and forth on in my head. It's it's either Melsic or Pass for me. But I do find the total to be a little bit wide. I mean, why, why is there chalk on the over is my question. Over two and a half, minus 170, plus 140-ish on the under. I feel like this is a great spot for violence. And I think Melsic inside the distance is extremely live. And that's plus 285. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I got a little bit more work to do on it, I guess. I'm having a lot of trouble with the strength of schedule component of this. And obviously, call about being from the neighborhood. Um, I hate fading hometown fighters, but this time I'm going to make sure I'm not just betting them because I think it's a decent spot and the matchmaker try to give them a decent spot like, like Shogun or her. Oh, I don't even want to say his name. I can't believe how bad he'll beat the shit out of Glover. Um, just wild. So I'm I'm going to make sure I do better with my management of those spots. But, man, I have trouble not betting Melsic here. Mace, do you think Kalabau's the side? Uh, for that, uh, I don't think he got caught. I think betting the hometown guys in a good spot is a great thing to do. I think he just got caught with two 40-plus-year-old men. Yeah, maybe I should keep it under like... Over finally looked old. It was just... <laughs> it was what it was. But uh, I digress. Yeah. The one true PK of the fight, this is... I I think you might be onto something by trying to attack the total because picking a side here really does almost kind of feel like a coin flip. Um, I would say if either person here... be the uh, Excuse me. If the line goes and either person becomes a dog... You almost would have to go dog or pass for this fight. Um, but yeah, this should be a lot of fun. I actually think this might be fight of the night. I anticipate this fight staying on the feet the whole time. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're just going to throw down. Melsic throws serious bombs. Like, ah, uh, he throws some hammers. But uh, Joshua, he switches stances. He's really quick. He will almost... Uh, like Wonder Boy, he'll be on the outside and he darts in and he throws a couple strikes and he comes back, catches you, switching stances, and he shoots in real quick again. Uh, and yeah, he catches people by being real quick on those darting in and out. He faints really well. Uh, he can throw kicks from both sides. So he switches stance and just peppers the body. Really like to see that. But Melsic's already almost fought this fight before. Uh, Bruno Silva fought very similar of a quick dart and striking style. Uh, and Melsic looked pretty good again in that fight, I thought. So, yeah, I think Josh was maybe better at that sort of game than Bruno. So there's that. But we've almost seen this play out before. And Melsic looked pretty good in that style matchup. Yeah. Uh, Melsic prized the better leg kicks. I think he will be coming forward with more pressure, but I think uh, Kulabo is going to be the quicker guy. Uh, and then I also think both of them have about 10 to 12 minutes of cardio. 
Mm-hmm. So that under two and a half, I, I like that over the over too. So I don't know. I uh, could maybe see myself going into that under as well, but this should be a real fun one. Real fun. Yeah. I, I think if it goes the distance, like all about probably lands a little bit more, it's a little bit more pitter patter than the power of Melsic with the hometown and the judges, you know, maybe favoring that. If it does go over, I, I kind of feel like Melsic might not be a great spot. And that's honestly why I haven't bet it, but yeah, the under, I mean, we're getting plus money on an under in something like you said, where Colabelle likes to dart in and out. Well, while you're doing that, Melsic's going to be loading up nukes. There's going to be collisions. There's going to be a lot of collisions in this fight, a lot of violence. Um, yeah, should be fight of the night. It's the best fight on the card.